I taught you how to edit videos like Tommy in it and it was absolutely informative. If you need any editing help, go ahead and join the Studs Corner, our community Discord server. We can all help you out and it's just a cool little community to stay and be a part of. And finally, please be sure to subscribe if this video is useful to you. We're so close to a thousand and you're all amazing. Anyways, it's serious time now. To start off, import the video or videos you want to edit by dragging it from your computer and dropping it into Premiere. Now drag that clip from here and place it into your timeline. And now for the worst part, you have to go through your entire recording and whittle it down to the good stuff. To cut it down efficiently, you can use the letters J, K and L on your keyboard. J will rewind your timeline, K will pause and L will go forward. The more you press them, the faster it will go. Using this method, use the cut tool by pressing C on your keyboard just to separate the video and delete the parts you don't want by selecting them and clicking backspace to trim it down to the best moments. Alright, and now that your video is cut down to everything you want, you now have your rough cut. The next step is subtitles. Right, so first of all, the font Tommy uses is called Dosis Bold, and a link to download it is in the description if you want it. Go to the point in your video you want to subtitle and press either T on your keyboard or this text icon here in the tools section. Drag a box over your frame like so and type out what you say, but remember to limit yourself to around 3 or 4 words per layer, as too much text looks clunky and sometimes hard to read all at once. Now select the text layer and come to effect controls, it should just be over there if you're in the editing view, this can be changed up here. When you're in effect controls, come over to the text options and select these two icons to send to the text. Also, move the midpoint of the text by selecting the cursor and moving it onto the layer by holding control until it locks into place. Make other changes to your text like colour or stroke if need be, and then add a pop in effect by coming to scale, pressing this stopwatch icon while you're on the first frame, this should be now set as 100, now come 4 frames forward by pressing the arrow keys and now change the scale to 110. Move another 3 frames forward and drop it down to 105. Go to the start of the next set of words and hold ALT on your keyboard and drag the previous text layer to where you want your new subtitles to be. Change the new text and drag out the first layer if need be and repeat until you've subtitled everything you want done. And by the way, I do have a more in-depth subtitle tutorial on my channel if you need it. Time for the intro, possibly the most important part of the video in my opinion. Here's an example I made from my unreleased Minecraft video, which is it's an, it's an absolute banger by the way, you, you don't want to miss it. We added the Origin Superpower mod pack into Minecraft and it was extremely funny. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what? I'm in the never! <laughs> Also, we are getting ridiculously close to 1,000 subscribers. That's crazy. So if you do end up enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. Be sure to subscribe because I'm, tell I'm telling you, you know what? You don't want to miss this one. Okay, start off by scripting out a short sentence or two which tells the viewer what they can expect from your video. Be sure to make it clear how hilarious it is and leave a bit of space for a funny clip. And finally, encourage people to subscribe. Record yourself reading the script with video and audio in OBS or whatever recording software you use. If you don't want to show your face, just record a voiceover by pressing this microphone option in Premiere. Now drag the audio and or video file in at the start of the video and cut up your voiceover so it's a little bit more fast paced. No one likes to wait. After that, make a gap just before you get on your knees and beg for support. This is so you have a bit of room to place in a funny clip. Right, now create a plain white layer by coming to the new items and pressing colour mat. Your video should be in 1080p 60fps if possible, so make sure the colour mat is set to that resolution. Drag the new white layer to the start of your timeline over the audio file and then find a funny slash relevant clip and place it in the space you made between your audio track. And be sure to copy the subtitles as well. Copy and paste an old text layer you made earlier by alt clicking and dragging. Change the text layer to the first word you say and then move your timeline to the start of the next word and now select the first text layer, hold ALT on your keyboard and left click and drag to that point. Now change the text and repeat until you reach the clip you just pasted in. If you say the name of your game, you should probably find a PNG of its logo on the Googles and place it there instead of the text. But remember to add the pop-in effect onto it afterwards though. Okay, your intro should now be fully subtitled, so now drag out the video clip backwards to around maybe where you finish saying the name of the game. Now go to your effects tab and search for camera blur and drag it onto your video layer. Go into effect controls and change the intensity to around 10 and then go to the point where the funny moment happens and select the keyframe button at that point. Go 15 frames forward and then change the intensity to 0. 
Right, so you should have the remainder of the introduction filled with your webcam footage if you chose that approach. If not, it doesn't matter because we're going to get some subscribe icons to go with it. Log into YouTube on an alternate account and go to your channel. Start recording in OBS or your program of choice. Move your mouse over that sub button and click it. Now stop recording. It's as easy as that, and it's, it's quite similar to what you could do for my channel if you enjoy this video. Go on, support me, you know you want to. Enough of the self promo. Search for the snipping tool in your search bar and drag a box over your sub count in YouTube Studio. Press File, Save As, and choose the file type as JPEG. Almost there now, I promise you. Drag your recording and image into Premiere, drag in the white color layer you made at the very beginning, and place it at the start of your subscribe message. Now choose the image you got from the snipping tool and put it over the white layer, then change the scale so it's clearer to see. Next up, put the video into your timeline with another white layer just below it and cut it down so it's just a quick shot of pressing subscribe. Move the scale up and position it so it's central in your screen and now search for the crop tool in the effects tab and drag it onto the clip. Change the values as needed to cut off the unnecessary, uh, un un unnecessary parts. Fuck's sake. Now for some finishing touches. Subtitle the rest of your intro scene using the insane skills I just taught you. Also, for a bit more fluidity, we're going to click and drag a box over all of the text at the start, right click and choose Nest. Now at the very start, create a scale keyframe, go to the end and enlarge it to 125. You should also do this with your subscribe image and background layers, just nest them together, create a scale keyframe at the start like before, but this time do it so it goes to around 110 or 115. So, you, you remember I, I said the intro may just be the most important thing in the video? Forget it, music is key to create a good vibe for your video. I'll link below a playlist I created filled to the brim with Tommy in it style music, save the ones you'd like using a YouTube to MP3 converter, and make sure you keep them somewhere you won't lose them. So for your intro, you're gonna want something jolly yet fast paced. I used this song on screen for the intro I showed you previously. But first off, extend the layer you just placed your music track onto by dragging down the line between the two tracks here and you will notice a line going through the audio. This controls how loud it is. Set it to around negative 18, but you'll have to change it depending on how loud the music you've chosen is. If you want a section to be a bit more quiet or louder, such as when your funny clip starts playing, select the pen tool by pressing P on your keyboard and clicking points on the line like so. You can then drag down the middle and your audio will go down and back up into normal volume at this point. Right, so here's one last look at the finished intro. We added the Origin Superpower mod pack into Minecraft and it was extremely funny. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what? I'm in the never! <laughs> also, we are getting ridiculously close to 1,000 subscribers. That's crazy. So if you do end up enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. But anyways, I can't really show you what music is best for each of your clips. You're just going to have to experiment and go with what you think sounds right. But anyways, that's all there is to teach you here. This video took way too much effort to make. So on that note, I'm out.